know, usually like to highlight one specific game too much. In other words, break the season up into thirds or fourths. And uh, does this game kind of take more of a, uh, a situation where it's more of a must-win situation for the program? You know, one of the things that that I have really believed and watched uh, after being here for a year that I think um, that that you know the way that you you win is that you you develop the journey to come together to win. Uh, you teach them uh, how to play together, how how the things in the locker room, how how root for the other guy, being happy when. When, when the guy in front of you scores a touchdown is just as, as important as and you want to be playing that position. I mean, all those team things are, are part of the journey to win. And the wins will come when the kids understand that that's more important than the win itself. And I really felt last year, because there has been a, 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 a season of losing of 20-some years, that every game seemed to these kids like a must win. And they just didn't understand how to come together and enjoy the journey to learn how to win. And they have understood they're, they're understanding that now. From from January to now, this is a different group of kids. And and it's like I said the other day, uh, you know, we're gonna win. It's just win that that turn. And and when the kids understand that that's how you do it, uh, uh, we'll win. How difficult has it been to get rid of that 20-year-old monkey? Well, um, I, I said this uh, I said this uh, a couple months ago that last year when I was asked, just like you're asking me now, I felt like we would win four or five games and uh, uh, before the season. And I only told Steve Orsini that. Uh, and as I looked after going through a 1-11 season, there were four or five games there that we should have won in my mind. Uh, but we just didn't understand what it takes to win. And uh, uh, I think that going through a season like that, staying together, believing, everybody not losing faith, that builds for what we're going to do this year. Well, the, 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 that 1-11 season will be the reason we win and, 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 and learn how to do it. What are some of the signs in your second year that you look for your team to respond in terms of making those the next things? Step? Well, the, the, the looking out uh, and seeing 100 guys out here when it's 110 degrees for, for two straight months. Uh, you know, last year you couldn't really find them. You had to beg them uh, to get out here. They were, they were home. They, nobody was in the weight room. You know, it, it, it was different. Even though we instilled it, we had some guys making that commitment. We didn't have everybody making that commitment. And uh, it, it, winning is a commitment to doing it. Everybody shows up August 1st and August 7th to go to camp. That's not when you win. You win from January to, to then. And, and I think our kids are starting to understand that. That's part of the process. You know. How so many going. games did you tell Steve you were going to win this year? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I, 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 I think I told you this already. I know that sometime in the next, uh, uh, this season or next season, we're going to a bowl game. I'll be really disappointed if we don't win enough games to go to a bowl game this year. That, that's, that's me. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, that's, a, that's a lofty uh, goal, but I'm that way. I mean, uh, and, and it's going to happen. I didn't, you know, it's going to happen. There's too many... There's too many things being done right right now, not only just in the locker room, but upstairs, and everybody is focused on that. And that's the one thing that uh, when I took the job uh, that, that I still uh, rings through my ear, uh, the most, there's a lot of important things in there, football, football, football. And, and, and that's the truth. So what would it mean to you personally to be the one to end the bowl drought? You know, I'm not a, a driven by those kind of things. I, I really enjoy the uh, relationships with the kids. I mean, for me to see the look in Emmanuel Sanders' eyes, knowing how hard he's worked this summer, that's what it's about to me. Uh, you know, I, I, I told this story, you probably heard it before, you know, uh, we were 
lucky enough in Hawaii to go undefeated 12-0 uh, and through the season before the Sugar Bowl. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, there were some of the most exciting games ever been a part of that last three or four. I don't remember hardly anything of those games. I, I, I just don't. Uh, but Devon, Bess texted me from the Miami Dolphins. Colt texted me last night from the Redskin camp. I mean, that's what it's about. It's about the kids. Coach, what is this team's, uh, or has it found its theme or uniting inspiration? Like in Hawaii, there was the Hakka and Polynesian culture. What does this team hang its hat on? Um, I, you know, I, 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 that that's as I and I kind of shared it. It's it an interesting question because they have to develop that. I, I, it's nothing I can do. I didn't come up with the things that we did at the Oilers, the things we did at these other places. Hawaii, you mentioned the the team develops their own identity and what they're about, and uh, that's part of that journey I was talking about. That all of a sudden will just appear, and that that'll that'll be it. Environment of a sellout. Will you put more emphasis on bringing in recruits? Yes. Recruits and normal. Um, well, we have uh, quite a few commits for next year, but we're really going to focus even on these class of 2011 getting them there for that game. The team reports tomorrow and practice up on Saturday. Can you just kind of take us through the next couple days? Yeah, we have a uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, paperwork stuff we have to do during the day tomorrow with a lot of the new kids. We have a team meeting, uh, which will run uh, a lot of uh, uh, formality stuff uh, from 7, uh, 7 o'clock that evening. And then on Saturday, we'll have our conditioning test, and have a, uh, we'll, which will take probably about an hour. Then we'll have an hour practice, just separate offense and defense. And then uh, uh, Sunday, because of the rules, we're off. And then Monday morning, we're, we'll start, uh, start practice. I know you always like to, to go with, especially a quarterback, whoever your, your best guy is, mm -hmm. and then you know, have a little bit of a competition, but do you see, based on what you've seen from last year in the offseason, much way that Bo wouldn't be your starter for opening day? Um, I, I would be hard-pressed to say that he would not be. Uh, you know, he, he has such an advantage just having gone through what he's gone through. He's, he's worked as hard as anybody this summer, I think, that we have in the locker room. He's in the weight room all the time. And, and look, just physically, our team doesn't even look the same. And I think you'll notice that when you come to practice. All the bodies are different. I mean, I mean we got we got some guys that look like NFL players now, you know. I mean, it's, it's kind of exciting to see that change. Bo is one of those guys that doesn't even look on the hoof as the same guy. Now, mentally and, 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 and physically doing it, I think he's going to be a little bit uh, ahead of, obviously, uh, uh, the competition. But... You know, uh, as I always say, the best player will play, and that's my job to, to figure out who that is. Where do you think the best or the most improved area will be this year? The most improved area, I think, is our defensive front seven. Uh, uh, we and, and we we've got some depth at corner from the, the new. I, I, I our Taylor Thompson and uh, uh, Marcus Hunt, Evan Hulu. Uh, Chris Parham, we, we have some guys that, uh, that and, and Kevin Grenier, uh, uh, moving Yuri Yanga uh, into uh, a place where he really should should have been for the last two years. You know, he's probably been our best football player uh, last year. And just looking at the film before I got here, I thought he was at that time too. And and putting him in a position to really really, I think. Uh, uh, you know, make a difference is, is going to show up fast. So I think I think probably right there. I think also uh, our offensive line will take uh, uh, big steps because we made a commitment bringing in a lot of young kids. They're going to be young, but but they're going to be kind of who we are for the next four or five years. You know? 